Hi folks, we're here today to talk a little bit more about the Mi A3 and what happened with it last night that just drove me bananas. Yes, me and Xiaomi, uh, we're on the outs right now, sort of. We'll get to that right after the intro. Let's do that now. All right, folks, we're back. We're talking about the Mi A3 again. <laughs> uh, there's a reason. Something weird happened yesterday, and it's not weird with the Xiaomi, especially with what we're dealing with. But, you know, first off, I did mention the uh, you know, wake on raise or lift to wake feature had stopped there. It's back. You know why? I had to reinstall from factory of oats the entire got the gosh darn it the entire system and then reinstall all my apps and I don't know what this little bouncing thing going on there is it's like it's I don't know, maybe that's well it's checking for updates or who knows and then it'll stop I won't see it again so Messenger quit working yesterday. Kept going up and says, app keeps stopping. Well, it has a newer version on it. So the Mi A2 that we're shooting on, the phone is laying on for a little perspective. Uh, the new mobile, uh, both of them. I will not install any updates of Messenger right now because it could be Messenger itself. Or it could be the issue I think I might have, and that is, and I did find this cool wallpaper yesterday, and I had to go find my ringtones. And, wow. You have no idea. And I keep a lot of apps on the... Me three. A lot. And you know, it's like a dark one, the tray at least. And I don't mind like the pill down here. But you ought to be able to look over here, hit settings and type in the word navigation and it'll allow you to go back to the normal everyday nav bar. You know, with the back and the home and the you know, kill the app kind of deal. Yeah. Sorry, that's not there. We don't know. What I do know is Xiaomi obviously has a problem with putting up pure Google with all the features it's supposed to have. They just kind of, you know, oh, people don't need that. It's like, the hell they don't. What made you think it was a good idea to remove it? So... <sighs> Later in the evening, it just quit. I mean, it just didn't want to do anything. The camera app, you know, stock camera app here, quit working. I was going to take some night mode shots. And yep, it would take the picture. It would do the right thing. And then when you looked where it should be on the SD card, it wasn't there. It's like, no content here. I'm like, what? So I ended up having to take out the micro SD card and reset it to factory default. Then plug the micro SD back in. And then bring it back up. Well, which is, you know, took it like two hours. Which saved me a whole bunch of bandwidth. Uh, on AT and T because I wasn't hooked up or running, and uh, it formatted the card, and you know halfway through the procedure formatting it as internal storage, it says 
You have a oh, slow SD thing. Get there. No, I don't. I don't. It, it did the same thing when I had the silicon power in it at first. And that one was even worse. It read it, and it, it could see it, but it read a 128-gig card as 320. And it's just like, what the hell? So they, they got some issues either with their software or their hardware, and I'm guessing it's their hardware. Uh, maybe it's the same reason the Redmi Note 8 would only format the card as external storage, which is why you know, it had that super cool thing called a rear fingerprint reader. And don't let anyone tell you you can't have one of those. Oh, it has a glass bag. Oh, bullshit. You guys drill a hole through the front of the LED panel or the LCD or the AMOLED. For Christ's sakes, don't lie to me. As a matter of fact, the Redmi Note 8 did have one on the back. Still does. Just a friend of mine has it. Now the guy sent me the Axon app. So we reformatted it. And of course it told me it was slow. And I'm like, there's no way in hell that this is a slow micro SD card. It's a SanDisk U1. Supposed to be good for like 100 or 100 megabytes reads and 80 megabytes writes. That's way quicker than the internal storage, actually. And it's way quicker than any of the 2.5 inch drives that they're still putting in laptops. You know, that's SD speeds or SSD speeds. Not super good ones, but it's an adequate. So, they got some issues going on with that. Just thought I'd let folks know, you know, you may end up having to do this. Better damn sure make a backup. Uh, otherwise, you'll have to reinstall. Well, you know, if you're like me, eight bazillion apps. And so, we're still waiting for Android 10 here, of course. And you know, I once again have my doubts. Xiaomi got no problems lying to us. Like every other, you know. And me, why? Like on the Redmi Note 8. Well, of course they don't want you getting rid of that. Because they use that to steal your data and sell it. No, it's not that different from Facebook. Anything. Facebook gives you for free. They're using to gather data and make money off of you. So, not my problem. But, I just thought I'd point that out. And, of course, yesterday they buried my cable, which is the biggest holdback. They still got to get a guy over there to put the block in the pedestal. They straightened the pedestal. Yeah, you know, it's all started with a pedestal knocked over by some local redneck twit. Yeah, and uh, they they righted that. But they never, you know, they took the bad block out, threw it over the fence. Like, okay, that'll magically fix it. How about you go get one? Never did it. <sighs> and so here we wait still. And at about ten. <coughs> <laughs> it's twenty dollars a day nowadays. But if you're at home, we got issues with running out of cash. I practically ran through my entire tax return, paying AT and T. Well, I wait for MediaCom. You know, it, it, they're tra they'll charge me thirty nine ninety five for four hundred gigabytes. That would cost me like four hundred dollars on AT&T because yeah, I have to hotspot it so that means you need a connection that allows hotspotting which is one of those you know, non-limited ones 
And so we're running out of money. So I'm going to ask you to do one of three things. Subscribe. Or read the description below and buy something from there. Or read a little bit below that. There's a donation button. And if everyone who watches this would send one to two dollars. Don't send more. We'd have enough for another three to four days, and it's probably going to be till the end of next week. Uh, provided I'm not dead before uh, this all gets fixed. Uh, which would irk me to no end. Hey, we got you fixed as they took me out in the ambulance. I can hear it now. So that's all I got for today. Uh, if you like this, give a thumbs up, share the video. Uh, do what you can for the site and uh, we want to keep the good content coming out so subscribers are going to help we'll be eventually able to buy more stuff donations are really strictly going towards only bandwidth right now uh, and we just ain't got no money to buy anything you know, I got to keep the money for the bandwidth yeah, what little I have. I got enough food, you know, and I got gasoline, but I ain't going nowhere if I can avoid it. I don't want to infect anyone. So we're going to leave it at that and get this uploaded and say have a great Sunday and <coughs> <coughs> we'll catch you in the next one. Who knows? Maybe we won't be short of breath then. Uh, yeah, we will. All right, have a great day.